Hi, my name is Sri Lakshmi. I am from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we will discuss common file listener issues. This is the agenda for the video. First, we will see what are the common issues in file listener, what information to collect to debug those issues, where to collect or how to collect uh, those information, and a demo. So here uh, we have listed uh, some of the common issues in file listener. So we have sis we have listed six issues here. So um, th there are actually different type of issues that we encounter in file listener. We have only picked up uh, very common ones. The details to be collected for all these issues would almost be the same, uh, but it would be uh, but few extra details will be required for some particular issues. We will be explaining all those in the coming slides. So the first issue is errors during file listener run. So this is the issue where the file listener doesn't run or starts running and stops in between. Um, the second one is uh, file listener not starting as per the schedule. Um, we have a schedule option for file listener, right? If that doesn't happen as per the schedule, uh, then it comes under the second one. The file listener not starting a task flow upon a file event. So the start of the task flow can be configured with a file listener. So if the file listener is not, uh, file listener has identified a file but not have started a task flow, that comes under the issue three. The other one, the fourth one is duplicate file events or files not picked up correctly. So one file picked up twice or the files not getting picked up as expected. Fifth issue is the file watch task issues. So file watch task is a component in task flow which uses file listener. So if there are any issues with file watch task that comes under issue five. And the sixth one is file listener start issues with mass ingestion task. So similar to uh, the issue three where the file listeners are used in a task flow, file listeners can be used as a start event for um, as a start for mass ingestion task as well as a source. It can also be used under B2B gateway task. So all this comes under issue number six. So what to collect for all these issues will be listed next. So for uh, the, the issue, uh, the first issue, which is errors during file listener run, Informatic MFT log uh, can be uh, helpful because it will have the stack for the error uh, that, ha that had happened during the FL run. And we also need the org ID, file listener name. These two are required for checking the errors, check, checking the logs from our backend servers. And then the screenshot of the error that is to get the uh, from the monitor. So that is to get the timestamp of the event. And if if the issue is persistent, if the file listener is not starting up at all because of any connection issues, like if file listener is using an SFTP connection or a flat file connection, we'll, we can do a test connection to check if the connection itself is failing. And then check if continue to run on failure under the FL is checked or not. So that option basically is helpful when the FL fails with in some network issues. So if FL uh, fails once, it will try again. And then if that connection goes through, fine, then the FL will start uh, as expected. So the Informatica MFT log, org ID, file listener name and the screenshot of the error from the monitor. Uh, under file transfer, this will be common for all the FL issues. So uh, for the second issue, file listener not starting as per the sh schedule, along with informatic MFT log, org ID, file listener name and screenshot, we need to check the user. So the user who has last saved the file listener or the owner of the file listener, we need to see if that user is disabled. Okay, if the user is disabled, then this issue will happen. So what we need to do is assign the file listener to a different user. The same thing, it is almost same for the next issue, which is file listener not starting a task flow upon a file event. In that, we need to check two users. The one is the owner of the file listener and second one is the owner of the file listener task flow association. So um, there is a KB explaining uh, these steps. The KB will be uh, given in the description. Moving to the next slide. Uh, these are the other three uh, issues. The first one, duplicate file events or files not picked up correctly. This issue is commonly seen when there are multiple agents under the runtime environment, but the snapshot directory is not shared. Um, I will be uh, showing you what a snapshot directory is and where to find the snapshot files in the demo. And the rest of it is almost the same. And then file watch task issues, we need the task flow name, org ID and the file listener name. Along with that, the screenshot of uh, the task flow run.
This is for us to check the logs from the back end. In this case, uh, Informatica MFT log will not be uh, helpful. The next one is file listener start issues with mass ingestion task. It would be same as the task flow one. Same set of details need to be collected. Uh, I'm not explaining all this in detail. Uh, I'll be showing all this in the demo. Um, uh, now we will see how to collect all this information. So the first point is uh, where to check the file listener run. Um, so that can be checked in monitor. This is the IACS monitor page. In IACS monitor page, there is a tab file transfer logs. Click on file transfer logs and here we see the list of uh, all the FL runs, uh, file listener runs. So you can search for uh, the file listener name here under filter, asset name. for all the FL runs. So for any, if any of the FL run had an error message or if any of this uh, file listener run had duplicate files in it, you can click open that particular entry here and then take a screenshot. From the screenshot, we need to check the start time, end time and the number of files picked. The next point is Informatica MFT log. So I'll show you from where in secure agent you can fetch the Informatica MFT log. I have a secure agent in this machine, so we need to go to agent home, apps, mass ingestion runtime and logs. So you may need to get that informatic MFT log uh, after checking the timestamp. Okay, we need to make sure that the log covers the messages for the time when the issue happened. And the third point is honor of the file listener. To check the honor of the file listener, let's go to uh, data integration search for the file listener under explore right click here and then check created by so here it shows the user if this user is disabled then it will be written disabled in brackets the next one is id of the file listener so all the file listeners have an id in informatic MFT log, uh, not always we will get error messages with the file listener name, but it will be, it will have the file listener ID. So I'll show you how to check the file listener ID. To check the file listener ID, go to data integration, search for your uh, file list, uh, uh, for which you need to get the uh, ID. Go to more tools, open developer tools. So uh, this is the developer tools page. We need to go to the network tab. Now go to data integration, click on the file listener. Now go back to developer tools. There will be two documents, document calls here. Right click, copy, response. Copy uh, the contents into a notepad and then search for uh, repo handle. So repo handle 41145. This 41145 will be the FL ID of the particular file listener. The next point is snapshot files. So let's go to the secure agent. Now we are in the logs directory, go one directory back and this is a mass ingestion runtime directory. Here in mass ingestion runtime, we need to go to data, monitor, and here we will see the snapshot files. So if we, it depends on the type of connection that we have. So if I have any file listeners which are listening uh, or file listeners which are running using an uh, ADLS Gen 2 connection, then I will have a folder called ADLS Gen 2. If I am using just a local folder, then I will have a file folder. So I am opening file. Here we see 41145. This is the one which we checked just now, which is running. Right? So this is the snapshot file of uh, the file listener, which is FL file list. So this snapshot file is nothing but a tracker which keeps track of the files it has uh, notified till now. Or it is the it is a tracker which keeps track of the files which is present in the folder mentioned. 
in the file listener which is root source file in this case so here we see the root source all the files which are present in root source file which corresponds to the uh, regular expression or file pattern part star so we see part 1 and part 2 right so this is the snapshot file now there was there is one more thing which i mentioned which is a snapshot directory where can we configure the snapshot directory i'll show you that now if there are multiple agents under the runtime environment then go to the administrator open runtime environments and go to uh, the agent under agent go to edit and then uh, select the mass ingestion service so here let's select the mass ingestion service in mass ingestion service this is the first property which we need to modify if there are multiple agents under the runtime environment the idea is to have one snapshot file instead of having multiple snapshot files to keep track of the files correctly so this data we need to modify um, uh, the recommended the value is to keep recommended thing is to keep a shared directory across all the runtime environments uh, all the agents and then update that value here uh, this is all about the common issues, uh, file listener issues. So uh, if you encounter any of these issues, please make sure to include all the details that we have requested under each issues while raising a case so that it will be easy for us or we can get back to you quickly with an update. If you have any feedbacks, please let us know. Thank you for watching this video.